Steven, congratulations on the win. Um, big fight at MSG under the bright lights. How does it feel to, to pick up such a victory? Yeah, I'm happy I won. Uh, grateful for the opportunity, not the way I thought I was going to go out there and do it, but um, that's the fight game, right? Like, take my lumps, take my wins. Yeah. It is what it is. And when you say that, uh, what do you mean by that? Obviously, I didn't want to get dropped. Um, I, I was thinking I was going to walk him on the shots and really outclass him, but after I dropped him in the first round, Got too eager. Um, as my dad said, I tried to make it a man battle instead of a thinking battle. So that was my mistake. Move on. What are the lessons that you think you're going to take from this one? Uh, stick to a technical game plan. Um, definitely going to work on my footwork even more than I have. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Was there anything that uh, he did out there that really surprised you tonight? No, not really. I, thought, I got exactly what I thought I was going to get. Um, swung hard. Rush forward. Um, I thought, honestly, the thing is jiu-jitsu would, or his wrestling jiu-jitsu control would be better. Um, I saw him uh, on EBI, so I had that in my head. Um, but yeah, he flew on the armbar twice. I escaped pretty pretty easily. He was on top. I got up from the bottom, and I was able to control him on top after I hurt him. So um, I know that my grappling level is still uh, there to save me at the moment. It still needs to get better, obviously, but uh, my striking needs to get the most better. Yeah, and you were very strong early, and then he kind of came back and had his moments, and then ultimately uh, the third round went to you. So I guess what do you kind of tack that up to, um, that swing of momentum? Was it just adjustments made by him, and then you kind of figured him out, or was it more mental game on you? No, it was more me just being dumb. Uh, as I said, in the first round, I felt like I was trying to throw longer shots. I was trying to be patient, make him miss, that sort of thing. Um, second round... I started, I, I honestly, in the middle of the round, I laughed at myself at one point because I caught myself with both hands down, just swinging with my chin up. I went, what the hell am I doing? Um, so, yeah, just, I thought it was me being bad, not him being good. Yeah, and for, uh, you were supposed to fight a ranked opposition, and I know you were kind of disappointed than that, that you didn't get that fight. So is that, I guess, wh where do you go from here? Do you feel like you should kind of insert yourself around that sort of a uh, numbered opponent next? Uh, I guess, kind of, what are you looking for uh, from here on out? As I said, I still thought Ale uh, Alessandro Costa was better than Schnell was going to be. Um, not that I say I'm saying Schnell's bad or anything. I just thought stylistically and everything, uh, Costa was a worse matchup for me. So I still think I deserve. I don't like using that word. I don't think it's a real word. I don't like. Uh, I, I sorry. I I think I should be in the top 15 fighting top 15 opponents. Um, I just got to be better. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, the last time we saw you, we asked like who you know who you want in the top fifteen, and you couldn't name a single fighter in the top fifteen. I think that's a bit harsh. Well, I couldn't name said, one guy. I think I think you could name like Matt Schnell, and you were like, and the champion. But I like, called I was, him out. What do you mean I couldn't name him? Well, Come I think on, your buddy. phrase was like, I don't know. I, think <laughs> I, of I don't know who few people are. I'll leave that. I was gonna say like, at what point do you start? Can you do you think you can start picking names in the top fifteen? I don't have any names at this stage. That's all I can say. Well, I guess. I, I understand that, but like, at what point in your career do you think you know you can start picking names? Because you are relatively young, and usually fighters in this young into their UFC career, you know, the, U the UFC offers you a name and you yeah. take it, and then later on they get a little more selective. Look, at the end of the day, I say it a lot. I'm here to beat the toughest guy, so I'm not the guy that's going to come out here and go, oh, I don't want to fight this guy. He's pretty tough. He's below me, all that sort of stuff. I'm here to fight the best guy. So if they're going to give me a name and that guy thinks he can beat me, that guy's getting it. So that's all I got to say. Hey, Steve, uh, congratulations. Uh, do you have a message to your fans in Perth and back in Australia? I uh, appreciate all the support. I felt like all the love um, over Instagram and Messenger, all that sort of stuff. Uh, sorry about my performance in the last round especially. I did what I had to do, but next time I'll give you something more to cheer about than that.